new band of rebels arose who were determined to carry the fight to Jerusalem. To the Sicarii. To the Sicarii. Anyone who wasn't fighting the Romans was a collaborator and worthy of death. Many were slain every day, and the fear men were in was worse than the calamity itself. sheepletv.com and it says Nimrod, king of Shinar was according to the book of Genesis and book of Chronicles the son of Cush, the great grandson of Noah was born on 20, December 25th and can be traced back to Genesis. Nimrod was the founder of a great false religious system that began in ancient Babylon that has always opposed the truth of God okay that's a beautiful narrative because that whole aspect, that whole philosophy of Babylon goes, goes is all that whole, everybody coming together. It, it, America represents that same, same philosophy, yeah? okay? Now we, we read, as we read on, Nimrod, Nimrod started the great organized worldly apostasy from God that has dominated this world until now. Nimrod married his mother, whose name was Semiramis. After Nimrod, Nimrod's death, his so-called mother's wife, Semiramis, propagated the devil doctrine of the survival of Nimrod as a spirit being. She claimed a full-grown evergreen tree sprang overnight from a dead tree stump, which symbolized the springing forth unto the new life of the dead Nimrod. Okay, so all, that whole thing with the Christmas tree is it, basically him, him being reborn. And you see how uh, wicked these damn Babylonians, who are the modern day Kushites of today, who are the modern day uh, Ethiopians of today, see how sick and twisted they is that, that the king of that, of that uh, the king of Babylon at that time, Nimrod, married his own mother. You know what I'm saying? You have any, you have any uh, comments? Um, it's, and it, as it read on, each anniversary of his birth, she claimed Nimrod would visit the evergreen tree and uh, leave gifts upon it. Okay, December 25th was the birthday of Nimrod. Okay, so well, so that has nothing to do with the scriptures or have nothing to do with the Hebraic custom. Okay, this being this damn uh, this damn dealing with this damn. Uh, 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 wicked holiday, okay, that's you know as Christmas, okay? And we're gonna bring out some more facts, okay? This is off of history.com. Wait until it pulls up. All 
All right, and we're gonna go into we're gonna go into uh, how, how the Romans celebrate. Okay. And this is Saturnilia. Saturnilia. Okay. In Rome, where winters were not as harsh as those in the far north, Saturnilia, a holiday in honor of Saturn, the god of agriculture, was celebrated. Beginning in the week leading up to the summer solstice and continuing for a full month, Saturnalia was a hedonistic time when food and drink were plentiful and the normal Roman social order was turned upside down. For a month, slaves would become masters. Peasants were in many of the city. Business and schools were closed so that everyone could join, join in, in the fun. Okay, and that, you know what I'm saying? And that, and, and what it, so basically going back, going back to the time of the Romans, celebrating this damn uh, Christmas, Saturnalia, okay, going back to the, uh, the Roman god Saturn, god of agriculture. It was basically celebrating the following. You know what I'm saying? Uh, if we can uh, hold that and get uh, Psalms 12 and 8. You know what I'm saying? Because that's that's what that that's what the Romans were celebrating for a whole month on this particular day, man. You know what I'm saying? But see, the thing is, though, that's when you don't know this history, and we're in particular we're speaking of these so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native American Indians, who are the true uh, Hebrew Israelites according to the Bible. If you don't know this, you start celebrating the um, holidays of your enemy, you know? these heathens. You know? You know what I'm saying? When the, when the Lord told us not to deal with these damn people and deal with their cousins and their folks, huh? you know what I'm saying? But that's, that, that's, why, but that's why the Lord said that your Negroes, Hispanic, Native American Indians are a revolting and rebellious people. Huh? And, now, and now, fast forward to, all the way to, to today, you know what I'm saying? We're, we're even on a greater scale on that, on, on that particular topic. Huh? This is the book of Psalms, chapter 12, verse 8. The wicked walk on every side right. when the vilest men are exalted. Yeah, the wicked walk on every side when the vilest men are exalted. Huh? Okay, he's the uh, yeah, 10 and 7. Or 10 and 7. Yeah, 10 and 7. Okay? Because, you know, the, the, the vilest men are exalted. You know what I'm saying? And that's in that holiday that, of uh, Christmas, of, of this holiday that you know as Christmas, is celebrated by your, by your enemy, man. Huh? By the wicked of the earth, the white men, okay? By these other heathen, huh? these other heathen nations. Okay, and you celebrate it with them. Okay, and it, and it has nothing to do with, with our Lord being born. All right? Okay. This is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 10, verse 7. It says, I have seen servants upon horses. Like, uh, 10 and 6. This is Ecclesiastes, chapter 10 and 6. It says, Folly is set in great dignity and the rich sit in a low place. Yeah, folly is set in great dignity. You know what I'm saying? And the rich sit in low places, man. Okay? That's why when you see Christmas, you don't see it, seeing everybody celebrate this holiday, man. Nothing but folly happens, man. And isn't, it, isn't it ironic when you read this, it, it's the same thing that be going on when on, on the 24th of, uh, of December, man. Everybody rushing to get gifts. Everybody wanting to have a, a good time and shit. You know what I'm saying? And, and just engaging in all, all manners of folly. And that's exactly what, what they were doing in, during the time of Rome. That's what they're doing to the, in, the, in the current Rome from the Empire of America. You know? Okay? Um, this, read on this, this a little bit more. Also around the time of the winter solstice, Romans observed juve, Juvenilia, a feast honoring the children of Rome. In addition, members of the upper class Classes often celebrated the birthday of Mithra, the god of the unconquerable sun, on December 25th. It was believed that Mithra, an infant god, was born of rock. For some Romans, Mithra's birthday was the, was the most sacred day of the year. Okay? And we can go on and on on different, different empires and different civilizations of people that celebrate this particular holiday, but in a different form. You know what I'm saying? You got that in the first chapter? This is Ecclesiastes, uh, chapter 1, verse 9. All right. It says, the thing that have been... It's a lot. Yeah. 
says, the thing that has been, it is that which shall be. And that which is done, is that which shall be done. And there is no new thing under the sun. Right, everything that is done in the past is being done today. You know what I'm saying? There's nothing. Everything's recycled, man. And there's no new thing under the sun. So everything that you see happening today, primarily speaking of Christmas, okay? It's, going, it, it's the same thing that's been celebrated throughout all the different generations. No different than all these different gods that you see, huh? You know what I'm saying? Celebrated from these different ancient uh, empires and civilizations. But they're all repackaged and renamed. And give an uh, updated version of that particular, uh, that particular uh, deity or celebration. Okay? <laughs> was, that, was that it? Uh, yeah. It says, is there anything whereof it may be said? See, this is new. Right. It has already, it, it has been already at all time, right. which was before us. There is no remembrance of the former things, neither shall there be any remembrance of things that are to come with those that shall come after. Right, man. So everything, like we said, man, everything's recycled. Everything that you see has been, has been done before, man. And there was no, there's no remembrance of it. Okay, especially to a uh, to a lost people that have lost their nationality, like the Negroes, Latinos, Native American Indians, the true Israelites, according to the Bible. You know what I'm saying? When we celebrate these holidays, we don't have no remembrance that these these were uh, these were God, gods and deities that went off. You know, you know that that we were celebrating this Bible and going off. You know what I'm saying? Give me Ezekiel the eighth chapter. It started. Uh, yeah, started at verse 14. You know what I'm saying? Because this also goes back to, uh, to the worship of Tom Moody. You know what I'm saying? It goes in, when you deal with the damn, the damn Christmas tree, it's nothing but a damn phallic symbol. You know what I'm saying? It's no different than all these buildings and monuments you see. You know what I'm saying? Exalting, exalting the damn phallic in, in the face of the Heavenly Father. Going all the way back to Nimrod, but they're doing, but even all the way to up to now, these heathens are doing it to this very day. First and foremost, starting with the devil of the earth, the so-called white man, okay? But your Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians are, are uh, in bed in, in uh, being revolted, having a revolt in the spirit against the Lord, uh, by celebrating and being amongst us, he was doing so, uh. Go ahead. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 8, verse 14. It says, then he brought me to the door of the gate of the Lord's house, which was toward the north. And behold, there sat women weeping for Tammuz. Yeah, there, there were sad women weeping for Tammuz, man. All right? Tammuz is, is a damn uh, Mesopotamian deity. One of the de deities that, that was worshipped in uh, Babylon, okay? And, they, and this is our people weeping for uh, Tammuz. When we supposed to be, when we supposed to be praising and exalting the Heavenly Father, who, who you know as God, we know as Yahweh. Do you read it? Verse 15. It says, then said he unto me, as thou seen this, O son of man, turn thee yet again, and thou shalt see greater abominations than these. And he brought me into the inner court of the Lord's house, and behold, at the door of the temple of the Lord, between the porch and the altar, were about five and twenty men, with their backs toward the temple of the Lord, and their faces toward the east, and they worshiped the sun toward the east. Right, and this, and this all, all going back to, to the sun, sun worship. All of this, man. Going back, going back to uh, even during, them, during those times, man. Down, uh, praising Talmud, praising the sun, man. Praising uh, these different deities, man, that, that are from the sun. Dealing with the Egyptians too, man. Our people worship, worship the damn, uh, uh, damn Egyptian gods, man. You know, the people of our, the, 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 part, the portion of our people that believe in the uh, Egyptian culture. You know what I'm saying? Worshiping on the rock, which is Satan, which is the which is God, which is uh, the sun god of, of Egypt. Right? You know? Let me, let me bring out a little bit. There's another one on here because you know, every, like we said, everything everything that's everything that's been being done now is the same thing being done today. The same thing, same thing that was done back in the day, back in the ancient world.
particular civilization and culture that that worship that to Christmas and worship worship the sun or worship uh, another deal. Okay, this is um it's history.com. The race in Scandinavia, the Norse celebrated Yule from December 21st, the winter solstice through January, in recognition of the return of the sun fathers. Of the return of the sun. Fathers and sons would bring home large logs which they would set on fire. The people would set on fire, set on fire. The, the people would feast until the logs burnt out, which could take as many as 12 days. The Norse believed that each spark from the fire presented a new pig or calf that would be born during the, the coming year. Okay? So it's just further giving you more evidence and more proof. Okay? Of the pagan origins of what you know as Christmas, yeah. It has nothing to do with Christ's birthday. It's not Christmas, okay? It's all. It's nothing but a damn pagan satanic holiday that our people has no business celebrating. You know? Do you have? Do you have something? Uh, yeah, yeah, you can finish on that. But that, but, this, but even going back to Ezekiel eight chapter, you know what I'm saying? Our people is worshiping the sun. And all of this, and, and everything connects though. It's funny, the taboos, the sun, you know what I'm saying, Christmas, you know what I'm saying, everything connects. That, that's why it's, it's just, it's just, it's all recycled. You know? Um, <laughs> uh, and there's, there's a little bit more there. In verse 17, verse 18. Verse 17. Verse 17. This is Ezekiel chapter 8, verse 17. It says, Then he said unto me, Hast thou seen this, O son of man? Is it a right thing to the house of Judah that they commit the abominations which they commit here? Right. For they have filled the land with violence and have returned to revolt me to anger. Right, returned to revolt me to anger, man. Speaking of the nation, uh, speaking of the southern kingdom, speaking, speaking of the northern, I mean, the, the, the uh, Negro the West Indian nation, You know what I'm saying? Um, provoking the most high to wrath, you know? That's why our people's been, our people's been uh, destroyed, man. You know what I'm saying? Provoking the Heavenly Father, man. Turns their back from the temple of the Lord to, to worship the damn sun. He reads. It says, uh, And lo, they put the branch to the nose. Right. Therefore will I also deal in fury. My eyes shall not spare, neither will I have pity. Right, my, his eyes shall not spare, neither will he have pity. You know? Provoking the most high to wrath, man, by serving these other gods, by being a whore uh, spiritually to, uh, against the most high by serving these other gods. You know what I'm saying? That's why he says, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a jealous guy. You know? We're supposed to, we're, we're, the, we're the bride on the new, he's the husband. You know, you know what I'm saying? But we, we've been, uh, we've been a revolting people. You know? We've been, uh, then marrying unto these other gods by joining unto these nations, unto these other cultures. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and though they cry in my ears with a loud voice, yet will I not hear them. Yeah, yet will, will the Lord not hear you, hear you in that day. You know what I'm saying? Like they did back then. That, and what was their judgment? Going into uh, the Babylonian captivity. We read through Jeremiah later on in the chapters. We deal with the was it, kings, I believe King Zedekiah, getting his eyes poked out, right. and getting um and getting the uh, uh, No, it was the Moab. No, it was the it, No, it was the uh, Babylon. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, because Jeremiah he prophesied that that because they keep they keep revolting, keep um doing things against the Lord, that the Babylonians were gonna take them over. He prophesied that uh because he put he had him put in jail. Prophesied that uh, Zedekiah was going to get put. He, he was going to get. They was going to get taken over by the Babylonians. And what was going to happen was he was going to get shackled up. And he was going to get his eyes locked out. You know what I'm saying? That's that's why. And that's why uh, the Southern Kingdom went into slavery under the Babylonians. You know. Let me Jeremiah the first chapter. I mean, ten chapters, first, uh, verse one. You know what I'm saying? Because. Heavenly Father, man, has his prophets out, out, out here on the street corners, man, telling you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans to come back to these lost sets and commandments, come back to your true uh, heritage and culture of being an Israelite, man, and separate from this uh, society 
that, that you know as a miracle, that the Bible, what, Bible, what the Bible said calls Mystery Babylon, okay? Babylon the Great, okay? This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 10 and verse 1. It says, Hear ye the word which the Lord speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. Thus saith the Lord, Learn not the way of the heathen. Yeah, learn not the way of the heathen, huh? You know what I'm saying? This is going all the way back to the time of uh, Jer uh, Jeremiah, uh, Jeremiah 10. Going, going back all the way to uh, Jeremiah the 10th chapter. And we're not supposed to learn the ways of the heathen. You know what I'm saying? We're supposed to follow our our language, our, our, our culture, our language, our custom. Huh? Okay? And be se uh, separate people unto the Lord, uh, your power, huh? your God. All right? Learn not the way of the heathen. And be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for right. the heathen are dismayed at this. Right, yeah, be, be not dismayed of the signs of heaven up, up in the skies, man. You know, for the heathens are dismayed at it. They, they're at, on, you know, in, in fearful and uh, in awe at the, at the uh, signs of heaven, you know, the different, um, you know, like the Orion belts and different uh, constellations of the, of the stars. They're, <coughs> these damn heathens, they're, they're dismayed at it. You know, they're an odd at it. We're not supposed to do that. Because why? Because we're, we're we're supposed to be the sons of God, man. The Israelites are. The Negroes, Nick, Hispanics, and Native American Indians are, are supposed to be uh, God's chosen people. We're not supposed to be dismayed by these these damn um, these damn constellations. Okay? Keep reading. <laughs> Verse 3. For the customs of the people are vain. Right, the customs of the pe other people are vain, man. That's why we're supposed to be separate from these other nations. Because when, whenever we take on the customs and cultures of these other nations, we fall as we fall, our nation falls. Okay. I'll say it again. Yeah. Right. And so right. And so they're vain. Yeah. yeah. Their customs and people are vain, and yet we want to we want to uh, try something new. You know what I'm saying? We want to. Uh, let's stray away from the right way and go crooked, man, and that's in Jake's spirit, man. Oh, it's, I know this ain't right, but let, let me do it, you know what I'm saying? Jake is curious in that in that aspect, man. Wanting to uh, do things that are, they know, even in the, even in their ignorant state as they are right now, they'll even want to be that, be, be that, have that same revolting spirit by trying something they know in their spirit at the moment. That's why I'm going to show you how to crack.
and that I have walked contrary unto them, right. and have brought them into the land of their enemies, that their uncircumcised hearts be humble, and they accept the punishment of their iniquity, then will I remember the covenant with Jacob, and also my covenant with Isaac, and also my covenant with Abraham, and I will, I, I, will I remember, and I will remember the land. Right. So, so in speaking of the fact that the Israelites the Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, which have been scattered throughout the four quarters, the Israelites, the 12 tribes, have been scattered amongst these nations, have, have been afflicted by these nations. You know what I'm saying? Because of our transgressions, if we was to turn to the Lord, you know what I'm saying, we would, the Lord would remember us, and He would come and redeem us out of our captivity. That's why the Lord, wait a minute, hold on. This is the book of Hosea, chapter four and verse six. It says, my people are destroyed. For a lack of knowledge. Yeah, the Lord says my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. You know what I'm saying? And, and our people have been destroyed for lack of knowledge because our people don't know nor consider, you know what I'm saying, who they really are. They just want to be stuck dumb in America amongst these damn dumbass heathens, huh? In their damn culture. Go ahead. It says, because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me. Right. Seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy God, I will also forget thy children. Right, man. You know what I'm saying? And because because we we have revolted, and because uh, we have uh, we have been you know we have been hard hearted unto the Most High, the Lord has has destroyed us. Has allowed his his best swords, the devil, the white man, to destroy us. Huh? You know what I'm saying? In the in the very reason why right now we see our our young kids being destroyed in the streets, man. Young uh, black and Latino boys getting, and, and women getting shot, shot down and destroyed in the streets huh? by these damn cops. Huh? And harassed her, her and terrorized. Huh? Okay, because you you forsook the way. You know what I'm saying? Give me Deuteronomy in chap uh, chapter 28, verse, uh, verse 28. You know what I'm saying? Because. Yeah, I know. Shit. Uh, you know, uh, yes, sir. That's a little stick in those things. This is the book of Deuteronomy. Chapter 28, verse 28. Right. It says, the Lord shall smite thee with madness and blindness and astonishment of heart. Right, the Lord shall smite thee with madness and astonishment, astonishment of heart. Right? Where? Uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's the point, though, man. The folly and celebration, man. Same, the same stupid shit. Like, like the Greek man back in Rome. That, that shit right there is happening. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers jumping around, skipping around like a damn fool. Bro. You know what I'm saying? But our people's been, but like it says in Deuteronomy 28 and 28, the Lord has smite us with madness and astonishment of heart. You know what I'm saying? And you got niggas out of town here that'll, that'll uh, join with that, that clown ass practice. You know what I'm skipping and skipping and, and hooping and hollering and shit. You know? You know? It, yeah, put on the same outfit and, and do it better than him. Be a greater fool than him, man. Be a, be a damn laughing star for the damn heathens. A, 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 a proverb and a Bible, man. Like a, like a damn sample. You know what I'm saying? And he has, and the Lord has uh, blind, has blinded us because we forsook the way and we did and when we knew the way, we chose to go the other way and not the straight way. You know what I'm saying? The straight gate, you know? Which is the righteous way, which is to follow these law, statutes, and the commandments. 